It's your boy Nick from MMA Pixels with Roland Olin Pettit. How are you doing, Roland? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? I'm doing good, man. I appreciate you talking to me. Um, I know you're busy training. You have a fight coming up January 6th against Freddie Calvo at 209 Beatdown 4. Yep, yep. January 6th, gonna go down. Returning to the cage finally. Been out for a while. I'm excited to be back. Was there a reason for a little bit of a break? or? Yeah, I mean, in uh, June I got this weird infection, or infection on my arm. Uh, it kind of sent me back a couple weeks of training and stuff. Uh, so I figured uh, just train a little bit. I started uh, boxing too, started getting my hands ready and stuff at Richard Perez's boxing. So I just want to take a couple months off, get the training right and stuff, get my mind right and everything. Yeah, I, I saw that on your Instagram. That's that's got to be uh, you got to be thankful to have like world class training when you're just starting out like that. Yeah, definitely. I train with the best. You know, I got Nate Diaz, Randy Spence, uh, Victor Galdon, Richard Perez. I recently started going there, like I said. You know, they've been and pushing me a lot, helping me a lot and stuff over the years and everything, getting me ready. Right, yeah, that's a really solid team there. Um, and, and it shows there's a lot of great fighters coming out of there. Yeah. Um. So you're, you're pretty young. Uh, you're at 19? Yeah, I just turned 19 in October. All right. Um. So when did you start training? I started training when I was about 12, going on to 13 years old. Um, started way back and when uh, Grace Fire was in Lodi and stuff. Started jiu-jitsu with them and just started jiu-jitsu ever since. jiu has been the, my background and stuff. What uh, What's your current belt right now? I'm a blue belt right now. I've been a blue belt for three years now. Okay. I'm on my third year. Right on. Congratulations on that. That's uh, not easy to do. Yeah, it's not easy to get these belts. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what made you transition into MMA from Jiu-Jitsu? MMA has always been my goal since I first started. Uh, uh, when I started, you know, I watched uh, Nick Diaz versus BJ Penn and stuff, and I was like, oh, dude, that's, that's hella sick. I want to get into something like that. My dad was like, well, you know, you got to get your ground game right. Go train with them. They have a Jiu-Jitsu gym here in downtown Lodi. This is way back, uh, it was probably like six, seven years ago now. And uh, I was like, yeah, for sure, I'll go in, get the jiu-jitsu thing down, and just slowly start turning this shit into MMA and stuff. Right. Is your dad a big fan of MMA? Oh, yeah, super big fan of MMA. He's, I didn't know who Nick and Nate Diaz was until he told me who they were. <laughs> <laughs> That's He's cool. He's been fans of them forever. He, I remember him telling me he has a, been watching the first UFC and stuff back in the 90s and shit. Tell me a whole bunch of stories about it. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, much different. I grew up watching it like that too, but uh, I love it. Um, so, how often do you get to train right now? Uh, twice a day. Every, I try to train every day, at least like six, six days out of the week or something. So you're taking this as much as I can. This sounds like this is uh, really serious for you. Yeah, yeah. I mean. It's just, what I love to do, you know, this is my life. This is what I'm, I'm chose to do. Right on. Um, you're currently fighting at featherweight, and in, in uh the camo we do same day weigh ins. Do you think going forward you're gonna maybe choose a different weight class, or is featherweight good for you? Yeah, definitely. I'm I'm planning on going down to 35 once I hit pro. Uh, featherweight's kind of big for me once I go pro. I'm only cutting about like eight pounds, six seven pounds right now. But, uh, yeah, amateur for amateur, 145 is good, but once I go pro, I plan on going down to 35. Okay, and do you have, like, a game plan as to when you want to turn pro? After this fight, January 6th. <laughs> okay, um, do you already have something lined up, or, or are you just... Uh, not yet, but that's the game plan after this fight, go pro, hopefully, uh, get a fight soon, real quick, try to stay active as much as I can. Right. I, I think that's uh helps out a lot with a lot of young fighters. I, I know a couple guys take fights like two a month, and it seems like it, to be working out for them. Yeah, definitely. Stay consistent and stuff. That's the only way you get better. That's uh, that's what uh, how, how good I got in jiu-jitsu and stuff is that I compete almost every like two months or month or so. There's a tournament. I do it and stuff. And that's the only way you get better is competing. That's how you know... Um, 
but you can show your skills off, try out your uh, move set and everything. You still uh, compete in jujitsu? Yes, I do. When was your last? Uh... Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, when was your last competition? My last competition was uh, I want to say about August. I haven't competed for a while. I kind of just been focusing on the boxing and everything and training MMA. Right. But uh, I plan on getting back into the jiu-jitsu scene, hopefully the end of January or something. Uh, compete a lot next year in 2018. I'm going to try to hit worlds and everything. You have a, a Nogi World Championship? Yeah, I got a one Nogi World Championship back in 2015. Right on. Yeah. That's... That's cool, man. Um, any training partners you want to shout out? Like I said, I know there's a lot of young talent coming out of that gym. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, Chris Avila, Christian Giovanni, Jose Abayo, all them. Uh, they're out there getting work in, too, uh, helping each other out, helping us out and stuff, getting ready for the fights and everything. This is the main hitters. Man, I, I appreciate your time. Um, anything you want to add? Uh, yeah, I mean, follow me on Instagram, uh, Owen underscore 209, and on Twitter, Owen P 209. Uh, follow me. <laughs> right on, I appreciate it. January 6, 209 Beatdown 4, Stockton Memorial Civic Auditorium, Center Street, Stockton. Roland Owen Pettit versus Freddie Calvo. Thank you. For Thank you. Have a great day. You too.